State your business, Witcher. Let me pass, Duet. You look terrible, like you haven't slept all night. I'm tired, Count. May I pass? My dear Geralt. I spent the night with a Strigger, so my patience runs thin. With a Strigger? To what end? Did you kill her? She's no longer a problem. I found evidence of a traitor in the Princess's entourage. Any idea who? Not yet, but it's only a matter of time. I discovered a useful diary. Triss Marigold also knows some helpful spells. You should give me Ostrit's diary. The Grand Master commands magic better than that witch Marigold. I never mentioned whose diary. But... Ah, oh, to hell with it. Witcher, join me. Align yourself with the Masters of a New Order. With me, Roderick Duet, the future Viceroy of Tomeria. Who are you working for, Duet? I thought you had it figured out. I'm working with Salamandra, for now. Think you can outsmart them? They're but a means to an end. Join me. You're pathetic. No, you are mutant. I gave you an opportunity to taste power. You chose not to, so you will die like a dog. We'll see. Greetings, Geralt. Have you met Rayla? A singular transformation gave her the gift of life. Geralt! A singular transformation. The gift of life. You call that enslaved bag of blood and muscles alive? Better than alive, perfect. You'll learn that soon enough. This was your experiment? You're pathetic. Rayla, darling. You won't permit this mongrel to insult your master. <sighs> Geralt! Greetings, White Wolf. Yaven, good to see you. I came as quickly as I could. Just in time. Wolf. I need to get into the Salamandra hideout in the old manor. The main gate is closed, but I know another route. Where? A stone well. If you squeeze through, you can reach the lower levels of the old manor. Let me show you. Great. Grab the line and descend. What about you? We'll watch your back. More mutants approach. But... There's no time to lose. You must stop your enemies. Quickly, they're coming. Good luck, and thanks.
Umbrella always admired you. Shame. You might have made a good couple. This farce is over. As you wish. Behold my Koshche. The perfect killer. You just cut up my Koshche, the result of much labor. Now to resolve this matter through more traditional means. I can't wait. My, how threatening that sounded. I warned you, pissing up wind leads to disaster. You talk too much. Scared? This time you pissed in a tornado. Kill him! Your turn, Javed. I learned long ago only to rely on myself. Before I kill you, you must know. Triss Marigold is being dragged to the laboratories as we speak. Torture will follow. Everyone breaks sooner or later. It's merely a question of time. What say you, Witcher? Still the indifferent tough guy? You're bluffing. You send assassins after me, conjure up beautiful words, threaten to kill me but you're scared to death and simply postponing the inevitable. Alar Zar Mintala. Berengar's amulet? You have Berengar's amulet? Indeed. Problem? You may weaken me, but you'll die anyway. Unnecessary duel. Unnecessary death. Nothing good came of it. Almost nothing. I can't fathom where Berengar got that medallion. Maybe he intended to face Javid. Can you hear me? What's going on? 
How are the experiments progressing? I urgently need those mutated knights of the order in Vizima, and send me more failed ones. At this stage, I can afford no delays. Respond! Javed's dead. Which a Geralt? Expect to see me, Grandmaster. Soon. Wolf, you're alive. Yavin, I'm glad to see you survived. Find what you wanted? Yes, although not as I had imagined. Wolf. I killed the Salamandra leader. No look of satisfaction? Not yet. As it turns out, Salamandra is not acting alone. The Order of the Flaming Rose stands behind it. I'm not surprised. I must tell the King at once. True. I have a boat at the landing. Join me when you're ready. All right, thanks. Wolf. Boat ready? Yes. Vizima in revolt awaits. Cut the rhetoric and grab the oars. Sire, victory. Despite heavy losses, we now control the trade quarter. Excellent. What news from De Wet? He's dead. Cut down by that godless butcher, the Witcher. Useless De Wet. Have the town criers informed the people Adder has become a strigger? Yes, but the Witcher found the beast. Geralt of Rivia. Only he stands between me and... We must fan the flames of chaos. Release more of our experiments, and let the elves wreak havoc. Grandmaster, I must protest, as a nobleman and representative of... Enough. Give the people more food, and tell them any God-fearing human can find shelter at the castle of the Order of the Flaming Rose. Adalbert, I thank you for your loyal service. Take him away. A new era dawns. An era of superhumans. None will stop me. I appoint you my new adjutant. Know your assignment? Kill the Witcher. Then go. Geralt, you've arrived at a moment that should be called nothing short of historic. Dandelion, I'm glad you're alive too, but I have important matters. More important than a Temerian redanian alliance with far-reaching consequences? Stop being dramatic and tell me what's happening. All right, let me tell you quickly before Yavin's arrested. He won't be as long as I'm here. The King will be forced to acknowledge me as a temporary ally. You sure? Foltest already has an ally in Radovid of Redania. I'm certain. Humans live brief lives like mayflies. They're not likely to surprise me, whether king or poet. No offense, Dandelion. We can't pass through the city without the king's consent. You're still a wanted elf. Then let us speak to your king. Welcome, Witcher. Sire. We have several things to discuss. Of course. Stop deliberating, son. We need to put out the fire in this whorehouse. We'll renegotiate customs duties later. Now we must take action. Nothing doing with the marriage, but believe me, that pains me more than it does you. Sire, Ada. Silence, Geralt. I'll have your head. Don't get excited, Radovid. I've taken the brunt of the loss. Now, one thing at a time. You shall receive the three hamlets we spoke of. The Witcher will kill the Aldersburg. What? We said five hamlets. I'm not a hitman. All right. It'll cost you. Ten thousand. Don't overdo it. I'm a fucking king and I deserve some respect. Three villages for you, my would-be son-in-law, and eight thousand orans to the Witcher. It's a deal. So be it. My armies will embark on a mission of fraternal assistance as soon as we sign the preliminary treaty. We shall figure out those towns later. I don't want any fraternal assistance. Somehow the phrase evokes images of burnt villages and orphaned children roaming the countryside. This land has suffered enough. You're to smash the order and return home. <clears throat> Forgive me, your majesties, but I feel it's time I... One more thing, Witcher. Yes? So, let's talk politics. 
And don't you dare mention neutrality. Judging by your company, you're already involved. Possibly up to your nose. Sire, your wish is my command. To the average pleb in the street, the Order is fighting my armies, but make no mistake. This is a confrontation between me and the Grand Master. That ambitious fanatic directed all of Salamandra's actions and intentionally provoked the uprising. What do you mean? I thought you'd be interested, sire. Very interested, and that means the Order is the enemy, is that clear? As day. The Order is the enemy, not the Scoia'tael. You're getting it, but only if those long-eared bastards stop burning my city and slaying my merchants. Did you hear that, Yavin? And if those long-eared bastards cease, can they then, as fighters for freedom and decency, count on the King's clemency? Or even amnesty? Only those that lay down their arms. And not all can be forgiven. The people would not understand. Yavin, you must disappear. Go away somewhere far. I shall restrain my officers from hunting you for a few days. You'll restrain them longer and instruct them not to look hard. In gratitude, for we'll rid you of Jacques de Aldersberg. Sire, one other matter. Witcher? Sire, the Striga gave me no choice. I had to. I do not wish to speak of it. I'm not vengeful, so you needn't fear any unpleasantness from me. But never mention her name to me again. As you wish, sire. Witcher, I wish to know who was behind all this. Dewet transformed the princess. How so? He was acting on behalf of the Order. The bastard! If I could get my hands on him! Those responsible assumed your position would be undermined if the princess wreaked havoc as a striga. Dewet has been punished. I'm glad to hear it. Now go. Vizima is burning, fighting rages. You won't have an easy time of it. Four feet tall and a body like a barrel of beer. A mouth from ear to ear filled with dagger-like teeth. Claws like a wildcat and red irate eye. I doubt King Radovid would have wanted a bride like that. The union of the two largest northern kingdoms fell through. The young Redanian monarch soon gained a nickname that accurately described his nature and the policies he pursued towards his neighbors. Radovid the Stir. Then Bold Foltest uttered these words. Virtuous Radovid. What the hell is that? I'm trying to keep a faithful and accurate record of these events. He said, stop deliberating, son. We need to put out the fire in this whorehouse. Geralt, you have no sense of poetry. There's the truth of time and the truth of legend. You'll never change. The pen is mightier than the sword. And you'll never change either. Off to save the world again when nobody's asked you. You were wrong to cross me. You're the one who's wrong. Stop barking, wolf, and draw your sword. Do you enjoy working for a madman? Do you murder for pleasure or simply to follow orders? I need not listen to you. You're not even human. reveals its true face. Under their shining armor, it's all rot. As I knew from the start, you saw as I did, Geralt. Come on, Yavin. Let's cut off this Hydra's head. Come inside. It's safer. You're right.
murderer. You killed my beloved Vincent. Carmen, it wasn't like that. So naive. I thought I could expect more from you than mindless slaughter. Heard so much about you. But you need to know. Don't interrupt. An uphill battle all my life. Vilified, reviled. First that rogue Mickle and his group. Did they hurt you? Of course. My belly grew, and then my loving daddy, the plowing priest of the eternal fire, threw me out of the house. What was I to do? I became a Viziman whore, and then lost the only person I ever loved. I'm sorry, Carmen. I may forgive you someday, Witcher. Not today. Julian left for COVID. Everyone's gone mad. Greetings! Prospering dwarf? War can be profitable, if not for the king's taxes the plague take them. How did you get here? Don't you see? Knights, soldiers, and Skyatel run through the streets, cutting down who they can. I am a traitor to all of them. I see. And all their heads are filled with prophecies, destinies, strange signs, and other nonsense. No one to talk to. Sorry to hear that, but I need to go. Farewell. You here? On an important mission for the king. Praiseworthy. I too wish to offer Faltas my services as an advisor in these difficult times. Sadly, I could not get through burning Vizima. I need to get to the monastery. I have learned much about a phenomenon of interest to you. The Wild Hunt? Tell me. In folk culture, the king of the Wild Hunt embodies death. He is the one who takes away souls. He is oft considered as the tool of destiny. Destiny? The Wild Hunt is an omen of war and tragedy. It has oft been seen recently near Vizima. Beware. I must go. Farewell. Greetings. Others stricken by war have sought shelter here. We won't stay long. We need to get to the monastery. So you're among those who have chosen to trust the eternal fire? Hmm. There's no sense in going out in the street again. You'll perish. Is there another route? Try the door in the cellar. Where does it lead? To other cellars. And an exit eventually, I assume. But I cannot guarantee it is safe. We'll risk it. The key should be somewhere in this house. The squirrels and the order. Those dry ones disturb our swamp. Between a rock and a hard place, huh? I had a dream, white-haired one. Your destiny will be fulfilled. I come to tell you. Mistake not the stars with their reflection in a pond's surface. I'll remember that. Trouble approaches. Don't kill me, Witcher. Well, a talking ghoul. I'm a mutant, as are you. Born with the gift of speech and an intelligence like that of humans. I know many intelligent monsters that are deadly. I am a threat only to those who threaten me. Let's say I believe you. I'm calmed. Why are you here? I no longer need to hide in the cemetery. It's safer here. I come out at night, find food in the streets. Can't complain. The inhabitants of this home have no objection? They fear me. The little brat comes alone, talks without end. I must go. Farewell. Quarter is burning. We're too late. We'll have a chance to fight yet. Hold! In the name of King Foltest! 
Master Geralt! Didn't recognize you. What's the situation, Captain? The Knights of the Order prepare to attack. Then we're in time. We couldn't break through. Heavy fighting. Is there a safer way to the monastery? There's another path. Through the sewers. Dangerous. I have a key. Take it. Thank you. You won't... hurt Zugel. With a Zugel in the sewers? Any professional advice? Avoid its tentacles. They're his chief weapon. His torso's his soft spot. Drink any venom antidotes you have now. Geralt, if I die... You won't. Ever heard of a freedom fighter dying while wading through crap? No, indeed. Let's put this corpse to rest. They pray instead of fighting fires. Duan. Have sympathy. They've lost their homes and loved ones. Prayer helps them accept their fate. Hmm. Many elves mourn today, too.
bloody arse! He got me! You're bleeding heavily. Not good. Go on. The Squirtel will care for me. Kill that bastard the Eldersburg. Go! I'll come back for you. Halt! No passage. Grand Master's orders. I'm here on a matter of national importance. Shove off! The Grand Master seeks solitude. Sorry, you give me no choice. Behold, my people. They feast at my table, find warmth at my fire, and glow with happiness to be separated from the turmoil of war. You're deluded if you think the sight of women and children will make me leave you alone. I do not intend to deceive you. The white frost approaches, a cataclysm that will bury the world beneath snow and ice each night. I dream of icy wastelands and the death of the old civilizations. I've heard Ithlina's prophecy. The cataclysm is unavoidable. Kings prefer to wage local wars to expand their influence, while elves have become terrorists fighting for a lost cause. The world needs a savior, a man of the moment, someone to kindle the flame in people's hearts. You, savior of the world. Come, I will show you something. Humans are weak, frail, and inclined toward evil. I shall create a new man, perfect, tempered in the eternal fire. Finished? Because if you are... You doubt me? I do not blame you. I had my doubts too. Yet now, my vision is strong. Behold. The scales will fall from your eyes, and you will understand. Juggler's tricks. I expected more. You think this an illusion? Oh no, Geralt, it's nothing of the sort. Where are we? See for yourself. Follow me. Now that you have seen the ice encased towers of Vizima, do you understand? You're rambling to Aldersburg. What do you want? This is the future. The White Frost has destroyed human civilization. This is the end of time. Do we lose heart, surrender? Never. We can yet avoid our fate. Save your rhetoric for the plebs. Understand. The Order and Salamandra acted only to save humanity. Every criminal claims a higher cause. You lack humility. Time for a lesson in some.
The unexpected awaits you here. How did you get here? You're stronger than the Grand Master thought. You summoned me. How? The Grand Master invited you into a vision of the future enclosed in his mind. Yet you brought your own visions and specters. So this isn't real? It's more than a dream. Should you die here, your death will be very real. I shall accompany you, assist you. But only a blizzard follows us, with nothing beyond it but death. You haven't changed a bit, Witcher. Again, you emerge from nowhere to kill humans. What humans? As always, you're perplexing. Behold the remains of humanity. Ape men, wretched creatures worthy of disdain. Some my own great-grandchildren. They're human? The White Frost has stripped humanity of its luxurious robes. All that's left are beasts that think only of eating and procreating. They are human no longer. Their base instincts drive them like the lynch mob from which you saved me. I'm grateful. Take my gift. I see you have met our degenerate great-grandchildren. Do you understand now why you cannot oppose my plan? You have yet to say how all this ice justifies your crimes. Only a grand plan pursued without hesitation could save humanity from what I saw in my visions. Trust your daydreams that much? I never asked for these visions, this gift. But you chose how to use it. Many times you insisted special gifts should be used for just causes. I chose the most just of causes, saving millions of lives. And pursued it by ending hundreds of others. How many more do you aim to condemn? You have no notion of the approaching cataclysm. The spirits of those who perished wander here. Tell them they had no right to survive. You killed them, though they were not guilty. They did not wish to die of the cold, nor to live on as spectres. No one gave them a choice. Was I supposed to let myself get killed? That's not my style, Teruvio. None of us choose the path we must follow. We all make choices throughout our lives. 
What would you say about me? I wanted peace, yet war proved my fate. Why are elves such fatalists? You could have escaped, yet chose to fight. And I shall choose to fight again, accompanying you now, if only for a moment. finally understand, obstinate witcher? Humanity will perish. The few who remain will become animals. My plan would avoid this. What plan, dammit? The human nations can only survive the cold through a mass exodus south. With you leading them? I'm prepared to do so. I see the future. I command respect. I would rule well. Of course, I had to get rid of any standing in the way, especially non-humans. Why so obsessed about other races? I was prepared to sacrifice anything, to save humanity at all costs. Do you know the saying, the ends justify the means? I do. You sound pathetic, De Aldersburg, as if you believed your own lies. Non-humans, their extinction is not a goal, but a means. Since you detest humans so, I'll leave you with my no longer human serfs. You have much in common. You should get along. The Order could have saved humanity. A coup d'etat. Murder. Experiments on children. Too high a price. Why am I talking to you? You claim to protect humans, yet you've thrown them to the beast. Why? Because you're not human yourself. I should have seen your true face and killed you when I had the chance. Try me now. Draw your sword, freak! Just an illusion, Triss. How stubborn you are. I could use you to shepherd my sheep during the first years of winter. I doubt you mean it. You stole our secrets from Kaer Morin. Used them for the worst ends. Your guild's tenets proved a failure. Too much individualism. I needed holy knights as able as witches, evoking an image of nobility, not a hand stretched out for coin. Bullshit. You wanted power. If you say so. When my troops arrive, ask what they think of me as their master.
surprised? We're not so different after all. I am your hatred for monsters. What are you going on about? You detest monsters as much as I do. You saw through both Ada and Vincent. That demands respect. Go to hell, Duet. Despite your insults, I shall help you battle the Grand Master. Though in the grand scheme of things, it matters little which of you dies. Either way, there will be one monster less. Part of the vision. He controls all. You must go on alone. See you, Triss. I'll be back. Good luck, Geralt. Now, do you see the need to act, whatever the price? Geralt, open your eyes. Open your mind. They treat people like you at St. Lebiota's Hospital. By pursuing me, you proved me right. You faced the dangers that humanity faces and survived. Jacques de Aldersburg, your dream is over. Patience. You may yet change your mind. Imagine thousands traversing an icy wasteland. Could you defend them? You and a handful of witches ridden with doubt, like Berengar? Impossible. Only the greater brothers can do that. But they need to be taught and led. They need you. Enough. Our swords will speak for us. How confident you seem. A painful lesson awaits. Salamandra is dying, soon to be a memory. Salamandra means nothing. It was but a particle of chaos, the tool of the madman you just slew. Your past, your destiny, the reasons for your resurrection, all remain unknown. Words, words, words. You've always used them ably to mask uncertainty and fear. I once promised I would follow you. Gibberish, Spectre. Tell me what you want or disappear. 
Reflect on your deeds, Witcher. I stood near you when you arrived at Kaer Morhen, an omen of its downfall. I observed as you judged the villagers of the outskirts, leaving only blood and fire behind you. You brought death upon Raymond, endangered Shani, mindful only of your goals. Chaos followed in your wake. You slaughtered dozens with your witch's sword. You threw gold to the Skoyatal, fueling new massacres. You left Vizima in chaos, only to bring destruction upon murky waters. Every one of your decisions brought further devastation. Each choice you made led to greater evil. How did you feel when your elven friend set fire to Vizima and slaughtered Duan? Stop. Do not deny it, Witcher. You are my greatest champion, a perfect means of destruction. Wherever you walk, death and chaos follow. Now, as it was years ago, accept it. Do not fight it. Give up to me yet another man you destroyed. Jacques de Aldersberg is mine. You dare to oppose me? I sense your weakness as your life seeps from your wounds. With every drop, death draws nearer. You stand no chance against me. Yield to me. Never. This is between him and me. You aim to kill him anyway. True, but for my reasons, and they are nothing to you. Clear off while you can. Go before it's too late. You want to fight me? So be it. Your flight from death ends here. Draw your sword. I was afraid you'd suggest chess. That sword is for monsters. You're awake, Geralt. I was getting worried. Dandelion? Where's the Grand Master? A few steps away. He's dead. For a minute there, I thought you were gone too. Hardly a pleasant nap. Was I out long? Long enough. The Order's been smashed into bits and Foltest has regained power. And Yavin? He was here a second ago, keeping an eye on you till I arrived. Then he had to go. Foltest will let him disappear. No doubt. After all, the non-humans tipped the scales in full test's favor. What about you? Did you succeed? Yes. I'll take the final element from Jacques and close this chapter. Take what's yours, Witcher. We won.
So, did you recover everything? Know what I found on the Grand Master? A Dimeridium pendant. The one you gave Alvin? I don't know. It looks the same, but older. He must have worn it under his armor for years. A true keepsake, perhaps. Maybe it was his way of repelling hostile magic. Or it was there to control inborn abilities, unrelenting visions. That's something we'll never know. It doesn't matter. Jacques de Aldersburg, if that was his name, is dead. End of story. What's next, Geralt? What do you mean? Come now. You've recovered what was stolen, punished those who hurt you, you played politics and dismantled conspiracies. You've loved, you've killed. You've come a long way, Geralt. What do you intend to do now? Only now do I feel my new life beginning. Born anew, baptized in blood and fire. A new ballad? Sounds too pompous, Dandelion. Take a look around. Life is simple, unpredictable, and beautiful. That's something new. You returned from the netherworld, got entangled in a real mess. You faced beasts and bastards who did you harm. And you're telling me life is beautiful? You're exaggerating again. Something ends, something begins. I'll take the last of the stolen secrets, take a deep breath, and move on. What can I say? Godspeed on your path, Witcher. The bloody fighting in Vizima revealed Jack de Aldersburg's madness. People ceased trusting Knights of the Order, began treating them like enemies. Foltest took advantage and limited the Order's power. He forgave the non-humans their mutiny as they assisted him in quelling the Order's rebellion. Yet the King's mercy was short-lived, and it could not quell disdain and hatred. Scoia'tael units soon reappeared along Forest Road. Yavin's fame as the one who had defeated the Order drew more elven youth to his cause. The sorceresses failed to gain influence over Foltest. The wartime chaos brought only misery. In time, all returned to normal. Both the righteous and the villainous survived. Few knew what had really happened in those days in Vizima. They were those who destiny had brought together with Geralt of Rivia. Yet they chose to remain silent. What then happened to the Witcher? That is a different tale entirely. Temeria and Redania are allies, thanks in no small part to you. For your toil, a worthy pouch of gold. Your Highness. Master. Farewell, sire. Thank you. 